Wait, when did you realize that you were famous? I'm yeah. famous? Well, I mean, just, <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're on famous. IT. Right yep. I got a camera like yeah, you got cameras, you got microphone. lights, you got makeup on because we have makeup. I don't have makeup on, oh, so man. I'm not as famous as you. But. So we're slacking. Somebody <laughs> over here get Whit, Whit Merrifield some some makeup, please. Yeah. Powder. Hey, it's always Powder! great because we had you on IT earlier in the year, and then you make the All Star team, and that's the IT mojo Thank paying you off. And congratulations. I really appreciate um, it. This is really really that. special hey, time. You having a good time? It is. It's what a great job Seattle's done. Yeah. This is always. Just a great, such an incredible couple days to be here and part of all the festivities with all the guys that you don't really get to know outside of playing against. This is a good time to get to know guys. And I mean, Seattle is so beautiful this time of year. It's just, it's been incredible. Yeah, it's not easy to host. And you're right, Seattle's done such a great job hosting. It really is. Because you got everybody coming in. It's a hard place to get to. And everybody's like, Seattle, oh my God. And you get here, you're like, wow. And then they gave us this weather. You're like, wow, because it's 217 degrees in Texas where I live. So it's nice to be here. But that being said, you just said it. Nice to be around guys. Nice to be around dudes that you play against, the best in the game. But who's the one dude that I love asking this that you're, you thought wasn't a good dude and then you meet him you're like, bro, he's awesome. Oh, um, Felix Bautista. Uh, I mean, uh, what an intimidating, we call him Mountain. Yes. I mean, what an intimidating human being. And then he's just the nicest guy in the world when you get to meet him. And I don't know if that's going to be in my favor or <laughs> it's going to make it worse hitting off him knowing he's such a nice right. guy. I think if I thought like this guy's, this guy's a prick that I would be like more it amped to get a hit, but now I'm like, oh, this guy's such a nice dude. He just threw 101 by me. Yeah, 101 <laughs> with a that nasty split. I don't That's think it's right. a favor, right? <laughs> do like the Pedro Serrano. Like, hey, good pitch, man. Yeah, exactly. Good pitch. Exactly. <laughs> I definitely thought the same thing about these two before I met them as well. That's right. So totally understandable. <laughs> What's been your favorite part so far? Oh man. Um, I mean, the derby was amazing last night with, mm -hmm. with Vladdy doing what he did. That's That does not look fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm tell, it's hard to hit it homers looks, with no screen. I mean, the net. We're used to taking BP with the with the net, right? Well, that, and it's like 300 swings. Yeah, in you're like right. Nine minutes. These guys are gassed. And yeah, he gets to do it with his now him and his dad, both home run champions. Yeah. That's pretty. Hey, I'm curious too, like, because, you know, I, I had a chance to go to a couple All Star games and the, the autograph scene, you You're know? Bad. Is there a something. Bullious. Yeah, sorry, sorry. It was just a couple I times. Struck out the side one. in 2008 at Yankee <laughs> Stadium in the ninth inning. But um, I was just curious, like, is there anything that you, like, said, I want to make sure, is it a jersey, a bat, something that you get autographed from everybody so that you can have that keepsake? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I get a, a jersey every year uh, signed by everybody and um, got a wall in my house where, where, they, they go up and yep. um, it's just it's a great momento and with, along with the balls you know I'll, I'll send over some some balls to certain guys that uh, that I really admire will have signed and uh, we get a team ball so we don't we're not we don't get shorted on on signed merchandise here that's for yeah, sure no there's a signing room yeah there's a whole specific yeah, no doubt. notice how he said they too like the jerseys he went plural yeah, yeah what multiple. else is on the wall <laughs> uh, so I I've got jerseys of a lot of a lot of really cool people. You don't have uh, mine. <clears throat> I don't have yours. <laughs> you're a tough guy to get signed. I don't know. I don't really yeah, you're born one. I was the old guy back then. What? I got a Mahomes one. I got a Jeter one. Um, it's Mahomes a fake one five. By the way. I'm the real one five. Then you have Pedroia and then Pat Mahomes. So he's the third one. Oh wait. That's my dog. To, hey, today, the here's the real one, one five, five today. You know what? You yes. are the real one five. <laughs> Who's just, the scariest guy to get an autograph from? Like there's always a guy that's a little intimidating. Like ours back when we played like Barry Bonds and Randy Johnson. Like oh my God, they're not signing. Oh my God, they're not signing. Then Andre Dawson walk over there, and then yeah, Barry Bonds signed all of our jerseys. Who was the one guy like now that's a little tough? The scary, not tough, but like. Oh um, God. I mean, it's not scary. Might not be the right word, but I don't feel like. I'm scared. I don't feel <laughs> comfortable asking Shohei to do much because he's just always doing something, yeah. always signing something for people. You ask him? I can ask for you. I just you feel, want. well, I, I, I got over it. Okay, I, got nice. it I got it done. <laughs> but I didn't really feel like super comfortable about it because he's always, I mean, he's just so busy. He's got everyone and he, he, looks, real bu him, he looks real right? busy right it's, now it's too. Wild. Yeah, I mean, he's it's pointy. Like, he just yeah. said, I'll, I'll come over there and get it's a like a flock of fish that follow him everywhere he goes. It's it's, it's insane. Right. It's, it's another level, right? Like it's I've noticed that level. him walking around. That is some super stardom it's, type of it's kind of attention he gets. And he's just such so. a, he's such a good like human being. Human being. It's, uh, 100 percent. Hey, he's, your team, the Blue Jays, how much fun are you guys having in trial? You guys got a good squad and a chance to do something special in the second half. We do, yeah, we do. We, and, you know, it's we, we've got we've had a, a good first half, but it's been kind of a weird first half in the sense of 
we haven't really played. We don't feel like we've played good. And yeah. we're nine games over 500. Which is awesome. Which is a good thing. And I keep telling people that ask, like, oh, you guys got to get it together. I'm like, yeah, you know, and we will. We're winning games. We're doing things. We're doing enough to win games. And in this game, you, I'd rather peak in September than April, you know. So I think that's the way our progression is going. We got Hunjin Rue coming back soon, Chad Green coming. Um, and then we got a lot of weapons on offense that are just itching to, to break out. And once we do, we're going to be a scary team. It was funny because Bo Bichette said that even about last night's home run derby watching Vlad Jr. He didn't even really kind of get hot and was able to win that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so when you're talking about a team first half, yeah, you guys have had a solid team. And to be nine games over 500 and feel like you haven't gotten going, that means you're a great team. And this is the second half that you kind of have the ability to go out and prove because that East is weird. You know, the Red Sox sit in the bottom. They're three games over. You have the Rays that felt like they didn't lose for like six weeks. Yep. The Orioles never go away. No. Right? And then you got you guys in the Yanks. It's kind of like we're, but it's still a tough division. And it's good to know that you guys kind of hadn't gotten really hot yet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about it uh, when we, we had a great final game in the homestand. Came back, two run homer in the ninth with two outs to tie the game and ended up winning. And we were like, guys, like, we're seven games back at the break. Yeah. It feels like we were 30 games back. That's right. And we are seven games back, and we haven't played our best baseball yet. And uh, and like I said, we feel like it's coming. And I wouldn't count us. I mean, I wouldn't count us out of the division quite yet. Nope. Not with Bobby Shed's hair. No. I'll never count anybody out with that hair. <laughs> I, was, I mean, that's yeah, just me. You got hair like that? I'm yeah. telling you. There's nothing sneaky. That's the aim goal that. right there. That's yeah. the end game. That's Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Wit, thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you, guys. Uncle yeah. Kev Congrats. is going to work on your Shohei signed jersey. That's right. I'll send him over there right now. Dear Wit, <laughs> <laughs> ask me any time for anything you want, buddy. Love Shohei Otani. Well, according to the red carpet, my name is now White. <laughs> they introduced me as White Mary. <laughs> I think I'm going to go by that from now on. <laughs> so that, was, that was something. So White good. Merrifield, thank you so thank much you for joining us on Intentional Talk. Go out there and have some fun.